Defense, I think one of the most common things you'll see about teams offensively trying to attack it is going to be to try to ball screen out of the zone. So what we're going to show right now is some different ways you can defend that. As they come up and set up a ball screen right here, one way is to bring up your four or your five man to come up and hedge on this screen and allow your guard to get over. So right now Clayton's come up, he's been able to hedge on this screen and then he's going to recover. He's given our guard enough time to be able to get over or underneath that and then our four or five, whoever you have that, you might decide it's always going to be your four, he's going to come up and hedge on screens or whoever is on that ball side block starts to cheat up, get a good hedge and recover. Let's see that again. So all of a sudden he sees that, he's talking it out, and he's been able to go over the top. Good, bring it back. Then what we look to do is, depending on how good a shooter this is, if this is more of a driver from our scouting report, now he's still gonna hedge, but we're gonna go underneath, and we're not worried as much about this jump shot as we are the drive. So here comes the ball screen again, here comes the hedge, he goes underneath and recovers back in as quickly as we, as we can. So as we bring it back, so one thing this kind of goes against is when we talked about having your fours and fives in at the block as much as possible. But if you see a team that late in the clock will be able to do this, they'll come out and really spread out. Teams that are trying to beat you inside late, it's not as good of an option. Now we're going to talk about a couple other different ways you can guard the ball screen. Now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to stay on the ball handler without any help. So here comes the ball screen and we've decided that we want to get over or under all of these screens depending on the shooter. Now he's a very good shooter, he's the best player, we're going to always fight over the top, here he comes off the ball screen, we're going to fight over the top, our guard gave a little bit of help, our fours and fives can give a little bit of help up into the middle, they can step up, but they're not going to hedge. This time he's not a very good shooter, here comes the ball screen, he sees that he's going to jump below and try to contain knowing that if he steps back up for a lower percentage shot, he's going to try to get a hand up and give as much challenge as he can to that. The third way that we would guard the ball screen would be the switch. So with the switch now, here comes the ball screen. We see this. This guard is going to go and put his hand on him and not let him split the difference and switch this screen so that he can't drive in, he can't pull up and take a jump shot. That means our other guard is going to come over here and he's got these weak side responsibility, any skip pass, and our four or five or five man would have to guard the corner. So let's see that ball screen with the switch now. See how that would work. Okay, good. Let's have uh, everybody come back in. And so what we'll do now, offense, is you're going to try to come up. Brandon will, try, will always be the screener on whichever side. Dan will stay low, down by the basket. And offense is going to try to score coming off this ball screen. And let's try right now, White, let's try to switch it. I'm sorry, let's try right now, let's try to hedge. Four-man will hedge first. The four-man hedge. See how that looks. Okay, here we go. Good, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Let's do it again now. We just go live one time. We'll come off, look for a shot, and then now let's look, let's look, let's look at, the, uh, at that again. One more time on the hedge. Here comes the hedge. Good, good help and recovery. Good. And we're coming back into the rebound picture. Now let's show, now let's show the uh, staying with them. We'll try to show on the weak side help. You're either going over or under. Number 11's not a great shooter, so you could probably go under this one. Okay, here we go. There you go, good. Good, bring it back. Let's see that again. Let's see it again, bring it back again. So now let's see, already went under it. Now let's see if you could try to fight over the top. Now as we do this, let's walk through this. As here comes the ball screen. Now we're not having our four man come up here and hedge, but our four man can come up here a little bit and try to identify him driving down the basket and show some sort of help. So now we're going to come over the top knowing this is their best shooter. Good, recover, good. Bring it back. Now let's show the switch from that same spot. Now the guards will switch. All right, let's bring it back and let's see that one again. 
We'll show now. We'll show the ball screen with us switching it on it. Guards will be taking all these switches out. Here comes the ball screen. We'll go live. Switch that. Good. 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 I think you can see with the different ways you can guard the ball screen, they're all good ways. I think it's better if you can come into the season, if you're going to use zone defense, how are you going to go, how, when teams come up in ball screen, what are you going to do? Stay with one to start with and see if you can be effective with it. Because the more you can practice one way against the ball screen, the better your team will become at it.